Hello, welcome to Technical Founders. My name is Carlos Lara, AI Technical Founder, and in this video, we will learn about Boolean conditions in Python. Again, we're learning Python for the purposes of AI and machine learning engineering. So a Boolean is a data type that has one of two values, true or false. So that basically corresponds to a yes or a no. Boolean conditions allow us to basically ask a question where the answer is yes or no, and true, true or false. So let's go right into it here. Let's create a variable here, call it language. Let's say Python. And then we'll also create another variable here. And let's just give it a number, number three, uh, no, not in quotations here. So this Python, this is a string, this is an integer. And let's also create a list. Let's call it my list. And let's just uh, use Python here. And let's also add three. And let's add 2.14, 2 for example. Now, what we want, we have these variables. And what we want to do is evaluate a Boolean, a Boolean condition. So the most basic conditional statement is the if statement. So, for, so here we will say if, and here the snippet comes, it says if condition, so if, and then here we will evaluate some kind of a condition. So we will use our list and our, and our, and our, and our var variables here to evaluate something. So if language in my list, so this is basically ask, asking, so if this variable call, that we call language just has a value Python, if it's in my list, and then we use we use a colon in my list and then notice here the indentation it's a tab so worth of indentation here uh, for when you're inside an if an if statement so if the language is in my list if this variable is in there we are going to to print a sentence so from the pre previous video we can print strings this way so since we're printing a string we're going to say percent s so is in my list and then here we use this basic syntax for for strings. So if this condition is true, so if the language, if Python is in my list, which we know it is, we're going to print this, that language. So Python is in my list. So that's what we what we expect to get. So let's go ahead and run it here in terminal if you're using Mac. This is called sample.py. And as you can see, it says Python is in my list. So it evaluated this condition and it printed out a, a, a result. So let's actually change the Python here. Let's call it just say C sharp, just a, diff a different language. So if, if language not in my list, that's another, another word that you can use here to evaluate conditions on, not in my list. And then, then you can print this language is not in my list. Let's go ahead and run it. The C sharp is not in my list. Very nice. So let's go. Let's go back here. So, so very very simple. Now let's say you eval you do evaluate this condition, but then you want to evaluate a secondary condition. Let's say if this turns out to not be true, you want to evaluate something else. So so we have another uh, conditional uh, here, another condition here. And it's the else. Again, leave some indentation. Use a colon here, and on the next line, leave a tabs a tabs worth the worth of indentation. So else we just want to print something else. But here's the point is, so if the language is in my list, you're going to print, you're going to call this, the, this line. But if it's not, then you're going to call this other line. So let's just actually rename this back, back to C sharp. So this, we know this is going to evaluate to false. And if this, if statement evaluates to false, then it's going to come to this L. So print for, for example, the language, is not in my list and let's go ahead and run it and as you can see the language is not in my list so what happened here is we evaluated this this if this boolean condition whether it's true or false language is in my if it's if, if language in my list and as you can see c sharp is not on the list so it just it jumps back to the else so it's very logical so if something is true run this code and if it's not true, go to the else statement. So else, otherwise, so very, very intuitive, very readable, very easy to understand and print this. Now you may want to have another 
some something in between here so if else but you might have multiple uh, boolean conditions that you want to check so here you can say you can use this the elif keyword which stands for else if so you're going to evaluate the if then else if and then the else afterwards if both of these are are false so in the, in this case we're, we're we're going to evaluate a condition so else if and what do we want to evaluate so let's say version which is our variable here our integer in I list again leave a tabs worth of worth of space here we're going to print and again we're going to use the, the syntax from the Python base, basics video so for an integer we just say percent D so this number is in my list and again just just finish it up here version and this is this is going to go in here so first of all we're going to run this if condition if it's true we're, we're going to print this line and that's it now if it's not true if it's false we're going to come here to the second to this else if or elif statement and check this new condition so version so this is false now else if elif version in my list so version is three so if three is in my list and as we can see here it is then we're going to print okay version is three is in, is in my list and then it ends there you only hit get to the else if all the other the previous ones evaluated to false if the previous boolean conditions evaluated to false so let's go let's go ahead and um and run it and let's see what we get three is in my list just just as we expected so again just this is just a very simple way to evaluate boolean conditions in python and here you can have another kind of uh of condition you can you can say for example x equals three you have an integer value defined here and you can for example ask so if x equals three however in this case we don't use the equals just like here because this means that the value three was assigned to the variable x so this doesn't really mean equals this means this is the assignment operator so we assign the value three to the variable x so instead of saying x assigns three we're going to say equals three so when you say use the double equal sign here that actually means equal so if x equals three we want to print for example um, the value is three for example just just to keep it simple here and then we can we can use just use an else here so else just print the value is not three so let's go ahead and run this as you can see the value is three that's because it's evaluating this this condition here so we can change actually we can change this to, to to four here and you can ask so if x, x, x is equals three print it else print this one that it's that it's not three we can run it, it says the value is not three so again very simple a way to evaluate boolean conditions in python and you can actually also do this directly you can say just print and put the the boolean operation here the boolean condition right in here it's equal to three and it's going to print true or false here in in this case so let's go ahead and run it and it says false x is, is x means x does not equal three because we change it to four right and if we change it back to three and run it again it evaluates to true so you can even print the boolean conditions uh, directly and it'll print out uh, true or false which is yes or no so again if else allows us to ask very uh, just simple questions in python code whether a, a statement is true or false whether the answer is yet yes or no so very cool and very simple to understand so thank you for watching any questions thoughts comment below and i will see you next time